Hey guys, Joel here, and welcome back to another episode of Mizerna Falls on the PS4. So, I figured out what happened with the issue. So, I had two separate copies on here on the PlayStation Classic. One of them was the faulty one, and the second one, I was able to see everything. So, now, now all the notes are correct in the notebook. Show you guys real quick. This is how it's supposed to look. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to look. So all the notes and everything is correct now. So the phone numbers are in here. So this is how you call them. So there we go. <laughs> so we have all the numbers here. They were automatically saved. I'm guessing. Was the other one saved? The one from that um that rent sign we saw? The for, I mean the for sale sign? I don't know if that one was saved. But the characters all in here. And I like that it has their age, name, and description. This is great. So everything is fine now. So this that's what I'm happy about. As long as I was able to fix this and everything, that, that's all that matters. And um Yeah, it looks so <laughs> I know it looks so dumb, right? I know this part of my shirt is like <laughs> like, like it's tugging it. But whatever. I'll get I'll get a new mic soon, guys. Don't worry. But anyways. So I like that it has the age and everything, they have the description, little brief description of them and and I think the occupation is here, right? Yeah, a guard, yeah. Yeah, he's a guard. He's a guard duty at the department jail. And okay, so up and down. Okay, so we can scroll through and we can read about these other people. Let's do this real quick actually. Before we move on. Since now everything is fixed. <laughs> so yeah. Um so name Hudson Lang. Yeah, Hudson Lang. Age 29, quiet and stoic. He's Morgan's right-hand man. He is responsible for guard duty at the department's jail. So that was a guy that when we tried to talk to him, it was blank. So now that we go there, it should pop up that we can now, he now has text that we can see. And uh, let's see. Emma Rowland, age... Wait, is this the same? No, it, is, it says something different now. Age 18. Emma avoided getting close to others. Matthew and Winona were only... We're her only friend. She was a girl with the dark side. Oh, Emma. Yeah, this is the girl we're looking for. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Emma Rolden. Winona Ring Ringwald, age 18. Emma's best friend. She felt that Emma was holding a secret from her, but without fate, without proof, was unable to stop her. A fact that weighs heavily on her. Name, James Laloma. <laughs> These names. <laughs> age 35. A psychiatrist at Grubber Hospital. Specializing in counseling. His interest in researching the in, in, indigenous, indigenous tribes of this region. Name Cohen Strasberg, age 55, the first person to discover Kathy. He lives alone in a lodge near Barrels Forest. Another Barrels. <laughs> it was like the Barrels Mansion. It was a clock tower again. Well, it is from the same creators, so that's, that's actually funny <laughs> that it has that. Morgan trusts, Morgan trusts him, trusts him, and relies on him to oversee the forest. Lo all right, Lorraine, that was her name. Lorraine Haynes, age 20. Waitress at the diner. She's straight talking. Oh, yeah, we already read that. She's dating Mel, yeah. Mel, yeah, we already read that. Name Barbara Holden, age 66. She's been hospitalized for her bad feet, but is actually faking illness. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> My God, she's. That's not good. Move this over a little bit. She's off she often says bizarre things which makes others view her as a, as an eccentric name Father Barton age 56 as a priest of the local church many townspeople trust him completely he adopted Kathy from an orphanage and raised her as his own okay <laughs> look at his face <laughs> oh that's oh that's Nas or Nas however you say his name Captain Nas age 60. Matthew's uncle. Oh, that's Matthew's uncle. Oh, that's my uncle. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, and and guardian, and guardian, he runs the general goods store in town. He's the one that runs the store and is no one there. Like, wow. So this is the guy. <laughs> Has his store just open like that? If anyone just walk in, just barge in and take what they want. He lets his nephew live behind the store. <laughs> so I was right. Yeah. So yeah, we live behind the store. We live behind this guy's store. And we're his nephew, and this is how you, this is how you treat this is how he treats him. Oh my God! <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Name Mary Lou, age twenty six, the sheriff department's reception. Oh yeah, we we read her. Oh, that was her name, Mary. Okay. 
Morgan Stein. Yeah, we we seen him, but they didn't have a description. He's age thirty two. The town sheriff. Oh, that's Morgan. Oh, that was a guy. He didn't want to talk to us. <laughs> He's in charge of keeping the people safe. Yeah, okay. He has a strong sense of justice and is someone you can rely on. Okay. We're fine. We'll we'll see soon enough. We'll see soon enough. Name Kathy Flannery. Did we read Kathy Flannery? Kathy lost her parents when she was young and was raised by Father Barton. A quiet, meek girl. She was seen as P P.O.S. by those around her. I don't think we read that one yet. Alright, so that's all the characters. Yeah, alright. Cool. I like that. So now, let's we'll start checking these numbers out. <laughs> start calling some people. Let's call the sheriff's department. So, circle, square, square, circle. Alright, let's do that. Circle, square, square, circle. Yes, Mizerna Falls Sheriff Department. Hello, Matthew? The sheriff? I think he's at Burrow. Wait, what? <laughs> How does she know? How did. Oh, who is it? Who... I'm pretty sure it's her, you know, because she's the receptionist. But, um. How did she know? He didn't even say anything yet. The sheriff? I think he's at the Burrow's. The Barrow's Forest. They're about to start the sweep. I see. Don't worry, Emma will turn up. Thank you. So she told me this on the phone, but when we went there, when we went there in the first part, she didn't say anything about that. <laughs> that doesn't make any damn sense. But whatever, at least we, at least we're, we're, we're progressing now. We are, we know what's going on, and um, now it's giving me some leads. So I remember in the first part, that guy, that asshole, <laughs> Mel, Mel Aston, he said something about the church, you know, with Emma, was last seen. So I'm guessing that guy was named Barton, Father Barton. I think his name was. <laughs> yeah, I already forgot his name. What's his name again? Where is it? I'm trying to remember these guys' names. These people. Where is he? Where are his passing? Right. Hold on. Oh yeah, Father Barton. Yeah. So he should probably know what's going on. You know. So we're gonna. I think we we should stop there. Like I said, I think it's one of those games that you can have like different paths to take. So. It's either we can go to the forest because the sheriffs, you know, they're like investigating over there, or we can go to the church and find out some more clues. I think I'm gonna go to the church. <laughs> and let's see, Winona's house. Let's call Winona. Triangle, circle, circle, triangle. So happy I was able to, to resolve that issue. Oh my god. Because if not, I don't think we'd have been able to progress because there was no way for me to call these numbers that <laughs> and we need to call the numbers because they give you clues and stuff like that all right who's next captain Nas's store why would i call it i should call I imagine he picks up <laughs> square square xx let's see let's see if this guy let's see if this old fool picks up let's see if he's suddenly in the store now to pick up the phone oops that's not the right number. What? That is the right number. It was. Right? Square, square, XX. That was the one I called. Whatever. Hospital reception. Uh, Circle, triangle, circle, X. Circle, triangle, circle, X. Circle, triangle, circle, X. Let's call the hospital. <laughs> Let's call these numbers before we move on. Hello, Grubber Hospital. Matthew? Calling for Dr. James? One moment. How do you know that? I didn't, even, I didn't even say anything. I'm sorry, I can't get a hold of him. He's in the hospital somewhere. Why don't you come over here? All right. All right, so we can go to the hospital too. Uh, Let's see. Last one. Oh, I mean, well, two more. Emma's house. Circle X, circle X. Okay. Hello? Roland residence? Oh, Matthew, they're searching the forest for Emma right now. What if they find her, her, her body? What if she's... Sarah, I'm sorry. I'll come by again later. Thank you, but I want to be alone. I understand. Okay, so everything is leading to this forest, but I want to go to the church first. I feel like that guy, Father Barton, knows something. Alright, garage, that one is easy. Let's try and go.
Hello? You're through to the auto garage. Has your car run, is, run into some trouble? Oh, really? Oh, maybe you can retrieve our car because I don't even know where the hell is that. We'll come pick up your car straight away. What? I thought they can like deliver your car or something like, you know, bring it back to you because I don't even know where the hell the car is at, honestly. Let's pet him again. Ah, <laughs> cute little doggy. Do we have any more mail? Wait, oh, my phone's ringing. Hello? You're through to the auto garage? Your car's ready. Where should we deliver it? So, oh, they can't. Okay, in front of. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yes, sir. We'll deliver your car right away. Thank you. Oh, nice. That's cool. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so if you ever lose your car or something, if you fall away from it, you can have them call and just drop it off. <laughs> yeah, I wish they had that in real life. <laughs> Any new mail? Hmm, no letters right now. Okay. Wait, let's see if this guy is, is here. Let's check him out. Because it's 4.28pm, so let's see. And I'm pretty sure, like I said, it's just like um, Delhi Premonition. So I, I'm sure they will have um, like people just doing different things at these times. Hi there. See, there's a new person in the store. But where's Nas? I don't see him. Alright, whatever. What's this go? Alright, he dropped off my car. Should be right outside <laughs> as soon as I get out. Come on. Alright, where's the car? Oh, there it is. Alright, nice. Sweet. <laughs> I like that. Look at this car. Love these type of cars. I don't know what they call them, but these are really nice. Really nice old school. Old school models right here. Alright, no, oh, wrong thing. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I was trying to do that. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Wrong number, who cares? What's that sign, that for sale sign again? Oh, wait, let me see something. <laughs> Let's go over here to the tacos. I want some tacos. I actually had a few days ago, Taco Bells. Oh, my God, Taco Bell, so good. She doesn't want to talk. I'm like stuck on her body. There we go. Get off. <laughs> Can I interact with the truck? Let's see. Let's go around. Nope. Wait, what's that over there? Let's go check out here. As long as my car stays, it should be it should be fine. As long as I know where it's at. Can we go in here? Like a movie theater. Oh, you can't go in? Yeah, it is a movie theater. That sucks. Yeah, that would've been cool. Imagine we could've watched movies. <laughs> that would've been nice. Alright. So, let's make our way to the church. Even though it's late. 4.46pm, but... Oh my god, press the wrong thing again. I keep pressing triangle to get in the car, like... I don't know, I'm thinking like with GTA and stuff with present triangle. <laughs> Circle. Alright, so let's make our way to the church. What's going on the map? The map is going crazy like that. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so do they show the names now? Oh there we go. See? Now it fixed everything. Perfect. So the ruins apartment. Captain Nas's store, also our house in the back. <laughs> and the diner, sheriff's department. What's this? Oh, Aston's farm. Oh, this is, yeah, a little brat's um, family owned farm over there. Mr. Rich, Rich Boy. Emma's house. Oh, that wasn't a church. Barrow's forest. Hmm. So, what would the church be? Am I blocking something down here? Let me see. Oh, Mel's Mel's room. Say so, yeah, I'm blocking something. Um, I'm just gonna still leave it here because I don't know where the hell to place my the box. <laughs> but um, let's go to let's go back to the sheriff's department actually real quick. Now that we um kind of fixed everything, I don't know where the hell the church is at. 
We're going to find out. Oh, this is so fun. Oh my god, I like this. <laughs> this is great. Wait, I, I think I went the wrong way. Oh, did I? Let's see. Oh, damn. Hold on, I think I went the wrong way. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. There might be something around here, though. So let's just check it out, guys. Let's see. Let's reverse. Let's put the car right... Right here. Like <laughs> he just gets out. <laughs> like the spawns in front of it. Let's see, can we go in here? I mean can we knock the door, I should say? Maybe this house? Nope. I'm gonna search around. It's probably somewhere. They should at least highlight the places, you know, instead of you having to search for them, because that just makes the game tedious, because this is a big town, so. <laughs> so this is going to be, it's going to be annoying to do this. All right. Come on, one of these houses, one of these houses you can go in. Or at least not the door. Let's see. Nope. Oh, come on. He's getting stuck on the walls and everything. Let's get back in the car. I don't think there's anything to do on this spot. Alright, let's get back to my car. <laughs> trying to remember where, where did I leave the car? It was on this side, right? Damn, I wonder if we should come back in the morning. Oh, there it is. Can I get in? Come on! There we go. I don't know, maybe people will give us information and stuff like to where, like, how to find these places. Like, whatever we miss on the map or something, they'll just let us know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, let's check this map again. Which is... I mean, I, I, know, I know the map is right there, but... I just want to make sure I'm going the right way. It won't let me... Oh, there we go. I have to wait till the car is uh, at a halt before I... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Look at that. I'm going to dead end. <laughs> Alright, so it's reverse. Reverse. Oh, what? The car just came out of nowhere. Oh, damn. It just moves. Look at that. As soon as I press X, it's just like just flying. <laughs> like he just. This guy just like stepped on that pedal. Alright, let's go back this way. I think this is the way. Wait, what's that? Wait, is that something over here? Why is this car just here? Let's check it out. Oh, we can go. Can we go? Oh, Riverside Park. Oh, wow. Okay. Hope the car's gonna be there. Let's hope the car stays there. It'll disappear. <laughs> Finally. Ooh, this is nice. I like this. I don't know why, but this little area right here it's like something you'll see here in new york <laughs> yeah, like they would have like a little spot right here you can sit down and you have like this nice decoration right here in the middle are you just sitting here by yourself we gotta say hmm sure it's cold yeah maybe you should go home like look what you have on you're not even dressed warm <laughs> of course you're cold all right let's let's just go i don't think there's anything to do here It's 5.44 p.m. We're going back to the, the sheriff station. And, um... I said they're still even there. 
Wait, where's my car? I didn't even show my car just now. I only showed the other car. Oh, okay, good. As long as it's still here. <laughs> That's all that matters. Let me check it. Check the map. I'm going the right way. Okay, good. Oh, it's, it's actually not that far. Alright. Oh, it's around this way. Oh. <laughs> Almost crashed into him. Alright, here we are. Okay, right here, right here. Stop, 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 stop. There you go. Alright. Let's see what they have to say now. <laughs> see if Morgan is still here. Oh, there's, oh, there's people here. This town's always been so quiet. What happened to our Id idyllic little town? I'm the mayor. I have to get a grip. Oh, he's a mayor? Okay. Did they finish up the sweep of the forest? Yeah, they got done around 4.30. So, did they find Emma? No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I see. But, they confirmed the presence of the bear we think attacked Kathy. The chief thinks taking care of the bear is very important. If you want to know more about the sweep, I'd ask the chief. He might even know something new about Emma. Okay. Oh, so we were supposed to go. <laughs> well, that was funny. Like, <laughs> they just spawn, and spawn behind them. Alright, so uh, I guess we weren't supposed to go to the forest? Or maybe we have to go there later on? I'm trying to see what's like hard related with this game, because I don't see it. <laughs> Alright, but um... Not gonna grow impatient. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, okay. You can come in. Alright, so that's pretty much what you got to do, so to progress, sometimes you got to wait um, a couple of hours or whatever until they finish their duties and stuff, so I like that, I really do like that because, yeah, it's like time is moving, you know, people's doing their, their thing while you're doing your thing, <laughs> so I love that. No, I want to talk to you, I don't know why I can't just talk to him at the desk, but that's fine. Mel was complaining about you. Said you treated him like a criminal. Haha, <laughs> is that right? Mel said Emma told him she was going to the church. That makes it likely Emma and Kathy were together last night. Do you think Mel was with them too? I wonder. Mel's definitely hiding something. Does he have an alibi, alibi for last night? He says he was at the bar. The bar? Bar Wolves? He didn't want to admit he was there, so I don't think he's lying. At any rate, for now, his alibi holds up. We have to sort this beer issue out first. Okay. Alright, so... Alright, so we're getting... We're learning some things. Wait, can I talk to you before I leave? Oh my god. I hear you have to stand right here. You know that there's a curfew in place after dark? <laughs> okay. Not a kid. Well, I don't know how old he is. <laughs> But, um, I guess we gotta go home and just come back in the morning or something? Oh, wait, let's talk to this guy down here first. See what he has to say now. You shouldn't be wandering around here like this. Okay. That's all he- so that's pretty much all he was saying. <laughs> Look at him just sitting down over there. All right, let's talk to this girl again. Hold on. Hey, people in my way, like just move. What is it? If you want to discuss the Kate, all right, I already did that. Let's look at this book again. <laughs> it says it's America's phone book. My house is in here too. Okay, thought you could have find some. Wait, check it again. Oh, uh, alright. So you can probably find some new numbers or something. Let's call up. Yeah, 615. It's my car. Oh yeah, it's over here.
Let's check the map. Alright, oh wait, something new popped up. The church. Oh no, that's the Riverside Park. Yeah, that's the place that it's been to. So that's the only way to, like, find places. You just have to go and just discover them yourself. Which is kind of annoying in this game because, like, the majority of these places you can't even go inside. So, like, <laughs> it's crazy. And I'm thinking, should I go home? I mean, it is six, six something, you know. And then I'll continue my investigation tomorrow. Then again, will that infect anything, like, with the story, you know, if I go to, to sleep, like, is it something I'm going to be missing <laughs> for this day? I don't know. Thinking, guys, what should I do? Should I go to Emma's house and check it out real quick and then go home? Right, let's do that. <laughs> let's just do it. Oh, damn. Oh, come on. I'm not even on it. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. All right, let's see if we can find some clues. I wish I could make the map larger so I don't have to, um, hold on. I think this is the wrong way it has to be. Yep, went the wrong way. <laughs> like I was going through his car. And then, all right. Oh, wrong way. See? This is it's confusing. I don't like this map. I wish you can bring up that map on the bottom, make it a little bit bigger. So I can see exactly where I'm going. I think this is it, right? Yeah. I think the house is right over here. Right here. I think. Let's see. Is this is this a house? What about this house? Some nice big houses here. <laughs> yeah, there it's not here either. Oh, maybe this house. The door looks kind of different. Is anybody? Oh, you can go in. Oh no, it's locked. Let's knock again. Come on. I know, you, I know someone's in there. 6.42 p.m. <laughs> They're home. I gotta hide. Let's check around the back. Anything back here? They got a back door, maybe? Nope. Alright, so... Damn, I guess this game, you have, there's probably going to be a lot of backtracking in it too, it seems. Oh, wait. I'll pray night and day. It'll help us find, if it'll f help us find Emma. Alright, let's wait till he goes inside and see if we can go in after him. You serious? He literally just went in there. He doesn't want to answer the door? What an asshole. <laughs> you know what? Forget him. Should smash your car window just for that. <laughs> I'm just joking. Alright, let's go. Let's just go home. It's getting late. It's cold. So want some nice, nice hot cocoa. <laughs> and let's go to bed. I was playing that mysterious music. Yeah, but it's 7.02 p.m., so I'm just going to go home. That guy didn't mention something about a curfew, so I don't know if that's going to, like, automatically bring us home. <laughs> We're not supposed to be out at this time or something. I don't know. Oh, wait. No, wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, damn. <laughs> what was that about? The car just, like, just went through me. So that's the sheriff's department. We're not going back there again. 
Erica's late. He's got to go home. It was back this way, right? Yeah, I think this is back to the town. Wait, I think there's a wrong area of the town. Wait, is that a house we want? Oh, let me see. Uh, no, the door, yeah, it's definitely not. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> door looks too fake. Alright, so... Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my god, it's hilarious. Let's see. Keep forgetting the circle you have to press. Where am I? Oh, damn, yeah, I'm... Alright, so... Let's go back this way. This map is so confusing. It's so confusing, guys. Hey, what happened? I'm stuck. Oh, alright. I just want to progress. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I'm gonna find out some interesting stuff in this game, like... Already feeling a little bit bored. Oh, let's look at the map again. Oh, okay, so this way. I don't think I was just walking the street like that. I just quickly get back home and go to sleep. That's a diner. Oh yeah, right here. Right. Guess we'll park right here. <laughs> I don't even care. I don't care. I don't care about parking neat. Care about parking neatly or nothing. Just go. Oh, poor dog. Why is he just out in the cold like that? I don't like that. <laughs> Look at him. Where's his house, by the way? He just stands there all day? <laughs> you bring him inside? Nope. We can't. He just stays there. Not good. Don't like that. One hour? Oh, five. Yeah, definitely five. Save takes one ear. Yeah. Alright, so good that we can see everything now. All the text pops up. Save to file A? Yeah, save to file A. Yeah, so they asked me all these questions. Just save the game. <laughs> yes, I want to do it. What? What time is that? That's the only thing they, they still haven't... It doesn't seem like that they fixed it. You know, I'm going to go sleep for one hour and see. See what time it is now. Oh, damn. It's super early. <laughs> 1.43 a.m.? Yeah, we got to sleep for five more hours. <laughs> we are way too early. Nope, don't want to save. See what time it is now. Six forty-four a.m. Still kind of early. Let's go to sleep one more time. I mean, for one hour, and that's it. All right, so we should be good. So now we can continue our investigation to stuff. I think this is the perfect time to start <laughs> finding some more clues. Seven forty-five a.m. Perfect. Alright, let's check our mailbox. Check our mailbox, see if we have any new mail or anything. I think the dog's just here again. Oh, no letters, that's fine. Let's see if this guy's in the store, or if his store is just gonna be open without no one there. Let's see. Nope, store is open, no one here. <laughs> So the store is open like 24-7 pretty much. Any market is walk in at night. Night, day, at night, afternoon, I should say, whatever. They can just walk in here and just take what they want. Wait, it's still dark? 
All right, let's sleep a little bit longer then. <laughs> sleep. Let's sleep for one more hour then. I'm going for one more. Oh yes, I keep pressing circle by accident. All right, so should be good. Should be daytime definitely. Why still looks dark? <laughs> Let's see, no letters? Okay, whatever. Yeah. No, one, no one wants to show him any love, huh? <laughs> no love from after you got no letters, nothing. Okay, good. My car, okay, car still at the same spot. Uh, let's, let's see, let's call. Let's call. Let's call the sheriff's department again. Circle, square, square, circle. Everything just kind of moves slow. <laughs> oh, you're on Main Street. Yes, Mazona Falls. Oh, yeah, whatever. Matthew, good morning. The sheriff is at the forest. I think he had his... Had his game face on for the bear hunt. I hope everyone comes back safe. Everyone's talking about his forest, so we're going over there because, <laughs> like, like, I want something to happen already in this damn game. Alright, so let's make our way to the forest. Forest, alright, that's far. <laughs> That's a far drive, right? Yeah. Oh, the barrel's far as yeah. All right, so. Oh no, one thing I did. All right, so let's make our way over there. Oh, <laughs> almost ran, ran him over or her. Which I know you can't do that anyways because obviously you see what happens when you crash into a car. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it here. I think it was. Oh, come on. I think it was going this way. Oh my god, this. The control is driving this is crazy. He's just. Look at that. Look how fast he moves. As soon as I press X, the car just like just zooms off like that. Am I going the right way? Okay, yeah, 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 I'm just taking a longer route, but that's the right way. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, Aston's farm. Actually, you know what? Let's check it out. Because he was the last one here. Let's check it out. See what they got. Let's see what's going on. Is that talk to his parents. Let them know what the brat that they have <laughs> that they've been raising. Let's see. What's going on? Why is everyone outside? Please try to understand what it's like for us, boss. We demand renovations. Oh, the people, all oh, these are people is protesting or something? Yeah, I think so. Wait, wait. Can I go in? Is any. Nope, it's nobody there. He keeps saying that. Uh, Come on, get my way. You know what, we're just going to the forest. <laughs> School, the controls are just so bad. Like, lord, these controls. Hey, we're just gonna keep it moving, I don't, I don't have time for that. Because everyone's talking about the forest, forest, forest. So that has to be the place we have to go. 
still don't know where the, where the hell the church is at, honestly. I don't know where, the, where it's at. Wait, what's this? Hey, what is this? Oh, wait. Hold on, let's check this out real quick. Can we go in? It's locked. No, I was trying to press square. Is Cohen out? <laughs> Cohen? Okay. Alright, so at least we're almost hit. We're almost dead the forest. Almost dead. Damn. Wait, this, this is the right way, right? Oh yeah, here we are guys, Barrow's Forest. Oh, okay, there's a sheriff over here. What you have to say? We don't know what's in these woods, you be careful. Alright. That's what I'm actually looking forward to. I want to see something, some action going on now in this game. Let's see. Barrow's Woods. Is that another route up here? No, no, that's just, yeah, scenery. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, so, start investigating now. Uh, see if anything creepy is going to happen, you know? Yeah, search this place. Up and down, top to bottom. Let's see what happened to this girl. What's in here? Can I can I search it? Can, can I examine it? What about this bed? You don't have anything to say at all. That's fine. Oh. Alright, you read the f oh. <laughs> looks kinda looks nice, but oh my god, I don't know why this bothered my eyes, like just the way the scenery looks and everything. <laughs> this is so bad. What the hell? Oh this oh the woods? Alright. Oh wait, what's this? It's claw marks here. That's all? That's all that's here, it's just a tree. Oh my god. I might have to do resort to a walkthrough with this game. I'm like so lost. Hey, there's something over here, right? Nope. There's nothing you want to say about a tree. Nothing. Nope. How do you get out of this place? Alright guys, I am back. I was trying to figure out what to do. Looking at the walkthrough, I had to just resort to it. The game is actually not that long. You know, I was scrolling through it and everything. So, I messed up. But what I what I know is there's a lot of different endings. <laughs> so, I messed up with what they wanted me to do. Like what they said to do in the walkthrough. And I didn't do that part. There was actually something extra that was supposed to have like a, like a like a prologue at the beginning when we was first inside of the house, but since I accidentally pressed pause, <laughs> you know, it um it brought me here, and they even mentioned that, you know. So, but it's fine. As they said, there's nothing. It has nothing to do with the endings you get of the story. So, like, okay, whatever. I don't need to worry about that. But these things you have to pay attention to the bulletins because um this is what I was supposed to do next when I had read it. In the first part, I was supposed to actually go there <laughs> at the time. I didn't, I didn't know that, you know, because I just started playing it. So you got to pay attention to the like, things that's happening in the town and at what times and stuff like that. And then you have to go there. So, but now this is different. I was in the news in town. Wait, news? Oh, something different now. Bear shot dead after attacking girl. 
On December 26 at 8.40 a.m., the bear which attacked Kathy Flannery, 16, yesterday, was located and shot by the town committee members. At the same time, committee member Cohen Strasberg, 55, was brought to the hospital with injuries sustained during the incident, but is said to be recovering well. Okay, so that means we have to go to, um, to the hospital now, to meet Cohen. Town Talk. We, the workers of Aston Farm, are lobbying for our housing to be renovated. The current buildings have long-standing drainage issues and electrical outages, among other, other problems. They are not fit for human habitation. Please join us in petitioning the company president, Dennis Aston, for better conditions for all. We demand to be heard, Aston Farmer, Farm Workers Association. Okay. What is it? If you want to... Alright, whatever. Let's go talk to him one more time. So, I am guessing we have to go to the hospital now to go talk with um, Cohen, since he was injured with the bear attack. I still want to know what's what's horror what's horrorish with this game. <laughs> like, I haven't seen anything yet. So you said go ahead, <laughs> not come in or something like that. Just go ahead. Let's talk to him one more time. No, wait. So, oh, huh. no, this won't do. I've got to. I got to keep it together. I've got to keep it together. I wonder what's going on. I wish I could get some information, <laughs> but I'm going to resort to the walkthrough. Very well organized. Is Hudson actually the closest neat freak? A closet neat freak? Hmm? Alright, whatever. We're going to the hospital now. Since we just read the news. And um, let's see what happens once we get there. So we can finally progress. So, each scene or scenario goes by days. So, and it's only like, well, it was like, like four or five days, I, thought, I think I saw. So, yeah, it's not a long game, but it just seems like it's going to be kind of annoying, like repetitive in a way, with um, just going back and forth. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Alright, let's get my car, and let's make our way over to the hospital. Oh wait, there was one more thing I, I'm missing. I think they said you I was supposed to get a number from the phone book but that's the thing I was doing that's the same thing I said as well like it just has to be like numbers you can get from the phone book and add it to your notebook but nothing happened but it did say that in the walkthrough it said get a number from it I should be able to find any address in here hopefully all right so square press it again I should be able to find any address in here all right, I'm not trying to read again. This, that's all he's saying. He won't. Um, that's weird. All right, whatever. I'm going for a steak. I need to keep my keep up my stamina. Oh, I'll never solve this case. I thought she solved it. I thought in, on the bulletin it said that they killed the bear that that, that attacked her. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't see anything. Relating to horror in this, this game. No, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I didn't really like... Like read thoroughly or, you know, into the walkthrough because of course I didn't want to spoil it. So I just wanted to know like the beginning what to do, so... And that's what I found out, you gotta pay attention to those stuff. Alright, so the hospital... Oh, right here. Grab a hospital. Alright, so it's, let's reverse. When you reverse, it's so slow, but as soon as you press X, it just like just zooms off. <laughs> Car just like flies, just flies away. All right, go up. Okay, stop. All right, up. Okay. Alright, we're almost there. Hey, what place is this? Oh, that's a church. Let's go in. Oh, okay, fine. I'll, I'll just leave it here. Oh, a cemetery. 
Well, it is a charge dead too, so... <laughs> Let's see, can we go in? Nope, can't go in. Oh, it's a crow. It's definitely nothing to do here, right? Yeah, I doubt it. What's I like how you see the cars over in the distance, <laughs> but right here looks like little toy cars. Yeah. Right, let's get out of here. Let's just go to the hospital. So that means this place should be marked on the map now. It's so weird because only certain places they marked on the map for you and that's it. Oh damn! <laughs> wait, wait, am I going the right way? Hold on. Oh yeah, all right. All right, here we are. We park right here. Oh no! Now I pressed that by accident. <laughs> Get out. Emergency room? Can we go through here? Over here? Oh, over here? <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Grubber Hospital. <laughs> Grubber. Oh, nice sliding doors. <laughs> oh, look at this TV. Wait, can we, um, wait, hold on. I'm trying to look at the book, the yellow. Come on. Oh, all right, let's go, let's go. Wait, can we check this bulletin over here? Bear shot dead after attacking girl. 830. Was located and shot by the, all right, the community members. All right, so Cohen, we gotta look for Cohen. He's here. So let's talk. Talk to you over here. What you have to say? Hi there. <laughs> That's it. All right. What about you? What do you have to say? Can somebody help me here? I'm trying to find it. You can't go back here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we'll just have to find it ourselves then. <laughs> they don't want to help us, so. Going here? I don't know. The game is just, is just so dead. You know, I wasn't expecting this. I thought I would have a lot more, more fun. Oh, you see, whenever I um talk good about these games at the beginning when it first starts, it always dis it always disappoints. <laughs> always. It's like there's like nothing going on in this damn town. <laughs> nothing interesting. Can I read? Can I look at this book? Yellow pages. Nope, don't let me do it. What about the drinks? Nope. Are you going here? Oh wait, we can go in here. Oh, it's a bathroom. I'm not even gonna bother looking. This is the controls, it's just so annoying. I just makes me not even wanna like really explore anything because just the way the controls are, you just like Knocking into everything, he's like stuck on everything. You want, like, come on, use the elevator, use just press a button. It's crazy with this guy. <laughs> um, second floor, I'm guessing. You have anything to say? Talk to you. They all say the same thing. What about you? This is a boring town. 
Like, I really thought it was going to be something like Deadly Premonition, but it's not. Like, that game of time was boring, but this one is, is even worse. It's not going to do it. Oh, I can go in? So what's the point of knocking first and then going in? No one even... He, no one even told you to come in. <laughs> Dr. Samuel. Oh, Samuel, do you have a, a moment? <laughs> Who are you? Matthew Williams. I came to Kathy's room earlier with Morgan. Oh yeah, you're the kid Morgan brought. I want to know what happened in her room earlier. When Kath when Kathy kicked the bucket. Oh, when Kathy kicked the bucket? Uh, yes. All I know is that Kathy seemed to be in a, a, a fugue state. Then suddenly it screamed and died. Well, to put it simply, Kathy died of shock. You know that she was attacked by an animal, right? What I think is... What I think is that what Kathy experienced last night was terribly traumatic for her. Then later, a flashback of that trauma was caused by some by some trigger resulting in her death. What kind of trigger? Well, that's the question. Some snow falling off the roof outside the window. Morgan's ugly mug. It could have been anything. I don't know what the hell they meant by that. The only people inside that room were you. Mar Morgan, Father Barton, and James. There was a nurse there too. A nurse? The head nurse. She works in the nurse cen center. Are you finished now? I'm, bu I'm a busy man, you know. Yes, thank you. <sighs> no respect. Talk to you again. What do you think about nurses? Anyone special catch your eye? I can't set up an introduction for you? <laughs> no thank you. So yeah. No thank you. Not for me. <laughs> Any guys, you can definitely send them my way. Where does go? Yeah, this is go. I'm, I'm not even bothered. Because, like, I want to examine things, but uh, it's, it's just so annoying. You get stuck on the walls and everything. Just, come on. <sighs> this game. <laughs> already, already annoyed with this game. Alright, let's talk to them. He's, he mentioned something about the nurses, so maybe they have... Alright, are you you going to say hi there again? Yep. <laughs> what about you? Excuse me, is it... Oh, I'm a... damn. I pressed it too fast. Yes, that's me. Do you need something? Were you in Kathy's room when she died? Yes. Poor child. Dr. Samuel said that Kathy's cause of death was shock caused by a sudden trigger. A trigger? That could be. That could be true. Do you have any idea what it could have been? It could have been. It was right when Father Barton entered. I leaned into Kathy and I said, "Kathy, don't worry. Father Barton has come for you." And then Kathy's eyes rolled over towards the father, and I thought everything was going to be all right. But just when I started to relax, Kathy screamed. I wonder if seeing him was too much of a, re a relief for her. Such a tragedy, whatever it was. And now she just says hi there again. <laughs> wow. Alright, whatever. Where's this Cohen guy? I gotta find which room he's in to talk to him. Maybe he'll give me some more information because they're obviously not... Can we go in there? Oh, we can. Alright, let's see what's in here. Can we check any of these? Maybe he might give us some clues. And we can't... Oh my god. What, what happened to all the examiner? I thought you could... We was able to examine a lot of things, all of a sudden now we can't examine anything. Hey, well let me, um, whatever, let's just go. Let's find this guy's room. <laughs> oh. Uh. <sighs> yeah, he's probably in one of these rooms, let's see. Damn, I can't see because this stupid <laughs> wall on the other side is like, it's in my face. Let's see if he's in one of these rooms. So the last place we gotta check is the basement. Alright, he's not in here. Wait, can I... I don't even know why I'm even bothering still to examine things. Because I already know you can't... Examine anything. <laughs> he was examining things earlier, and all of a sudden now you can't. And then I'm getting tired of him getting stuck on the walls and everything. And the controls are just so bad, the camera just sucks. Oh my god. Alright, he has to be in one of these rooms. Alright, so he's probably in the next room across from us. Alright. 
Oh, yeah, I see somebody. Oh, wait, is that him? Hmm, where can I get some cigarettes? Wow. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say to that. Like, look where you are and then... <laughs> Should be taking care of yourself. <laughs> Better care of your health. Where is this guy at? They said he was brought here. I thought whatever happens on the bulletin, it's, you know, it's stuff you can check out. There's <laughs> things that happen. It's, the people should be here. They say he's in the hospital, he should be here, right? Or is he, um... Wait. Can I? Oh yeah, I got. Oh yeah, we can take the steps. Maybe he's on the first floor. Maybe I don't know. Wait, there was some more rooms in that corner. I think on it. On the first. Wait, what's this? Can't can't check that. Oh yeah, this is the first floor. All right. So wait, this is the first floor? Why can't I? Oh my god, are you serious? I'm stuck on this thing. Come on. Yeah, this is a okay. Oh, maybe back here. I didn't check over here yet. What about over here? Wait, what about this room? Wait, what about you? <laughs> I'm going in, I want to talk to you. <laughs> I want to find some clues, like, come on. Talk to you. All oh, right. Anything happens, come see me for a consultation. Hmm. Yes. Oh, <laughs> perfectly healthy. What? This guy is so weird. A weirdo. I don't know. Like, he's all right. The basement. Let's just check the basement. And then that that would be it. I don't know, guys. I, I'm I'm already getting bored of this game. I don't. <sighs> This doesn't like anything to do with horror, anything horror related. He's more almost like a detective. Those detect, I don't know what you, what that genre would be called. You know, like trying to solve a clue or something like that. But usually that that kind of like falls into like a horror, like thrillerish type of game. But I don't see that here. It's just so boring. You're just walking back and forth. Everyone just seems lifeless. This oh. How about, can I go in here? Damn, it's all these rooms and you can't go in any of them? Are you serious? I can't go in any of these places. Oh my god. I don't, I don't know. I'm already, I'm already tired of this game. <laughs> and it, it sucks because you can only save... Let's go take the steps. In your house. So, that's it. I don't know. I thought this would have been an interesting game to play. But it's, it's not. Alright. Let's talk to you. Let's talk to this, this lady again. See, no one's giving you any clues to anything going on here. Oh, wait, what about this guy? Hello, I'm off to the hospital. I'm not sick or injured or anything, though. I don't care. Like, <laughs> what are you telling me that for? I don't care what you come here for. Not my business. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so... I'm just gonna get back to- What? <laughs> Why is my car <laughs> going through the other car? Whatever. Wow, it's busy here today, I see. I'm going back enough to save and I'll be here for this part, honestly. I don't think I'm gonna continue with this game. I don't, I don't think I am, but if you guys want to see me continue this, I'll probably play this again in the future, but I'm done. I think it's going to be here for this series. I'm not going to try and like play one more just to redeem myself. I already did that with when we played Clock Tower 2 when we played plenty of other great ones. So I do want to do it for Resident Evil 2 though on SD4 because I wanted to play over as clear on the randomizer mode. I was actually thinking about doing that on this channel, but I don't know when. Yeah, I don't know when, when I'm... I don't know. I want to do it. <laughs> I already do. I love Resident Evil. You guys know that. Old stuff. You guys know. And I wanted, I'm wanted. i interested in checking that randomizer mode out. I never have. Never, never checked it out before. 
is good that it's exclusive for the SD4 version. And um, yeah. And I want to play as Claire because I've never played as Claire on this channel. Oh, let's see. Let's go this way. Yeah, so I, I might. I don't know when though that would be. I don't think that's it. I keep pressing the wrong button. I don't know. I'm trying to get used to these controls because, you know, circle is to, to select everything instead of X. Alright, so. Oh, okay. I can go up here. Yeah, so I would like to, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do that one instead just to redeem myself from this game. It's not, I'm not feeling the game. I'm not really feeling this game. Like I said, if you guys want to see me continue this, I will gladly do it in the future and try and beat the game with the help of the walkthrough. But I might have to start from the beginning again. Because... It seems like I am... Um, you know, I messed up. The things what they wanted, they, they were talking about doing, I can't do it anymore, you know, because it, it passed. Let's check, just check this. Alright, nothing. So let's go back home. Let's save. So stupid that that's the only way you can save. <laughs> the only way. Alright. I don't know why they keep. They ask you so many, so many questions just to save the damn game. <laughs> he always have his hand like to swing like this when he gets off the bed. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Um, like, I don't know. Is. I thought it would be something interesting. I could have sworn they said it was a horror game, but I don't see anything horror related in this game at all. Like, you're just walking around in this boring town where everyone doesn't seem like they care. You know, it seemed like I was making progress at the beginning, and all of a sudden now I don't know what to do. Everyone is dead. No one really wants to talk to you. <laughs> Besides the doctor we just, spoke, just uh, spoke to, and he gave us a little bit more information. We talked to the nurse, and that's it. You know, like, what happens after that? Why can't? Why don't you have like he doesn't write himself down in a, in a notepad or something? Do he? Does he? Let's see. He doesn't. He just had the phone numbers, and that's it. That's all he has. So, yeah, it's just it's just boring. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of Deadly Premonition, but Deadly Premonition, of course, was way better. <laughs> so, and yeah, it was just. They had they, the sound was kind of lifeless in that game too, honestly. But it is way better than this one. You know, you got everyone saying the same thing. You got all the nurses saying hi there, and I say like they didn't know what else dialogue to put on them, and not what else dialogue to give them, and that's about it. But um, yeah, I I don't I don't want to play anymore, honestly. <laughs> it's just not good. Like I thought this would be something interesting, an interesting horror game, maybe a, like something a hidden gem in a way, but it's not that. It's not good. And this is terrible, you know, getting stuck on the walls and all this stuff. It's hard to really like maneuver around the controls are terrible, the camera I don't like. And um yeah, it's just it's not good. <laughs> like I said in the future, if anything you wanna see me continue this, I would I would gladly do it. But for now I'm done with it, you know. But like I said, if I do it over, I have to use the walkthrough and start from the very beginning and just follow it like that because it seems like if you don't do something at a specific time of the day, then it, it kind of like messes up the the, the whole game, you know, like the, the whole flow, you know. But um, yeah. So that's it. Mizerno Falls on the PS One. Not that good. <laughs> Not that good. First fear was way better. I should have just ended it at that, honestly. But like I said, I do want to do over um, Resident Evil Two with Claire on the randomizer mode for PS Four. So um, yeah. So I might just do that. Might just do that, and then that'll be it. And um, yes, I will be <laughs> a new mic very soon because it's just annoying to do it like this. I know, but yeah, but this is the best way to do it because if I don't put it as close as possible to my mouth, you will hear it's gonna sound like I'm far away. So yeah, and um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So I'll see. Maybe I might do the Resident Evil one. Maybe the end of this month. I don't know yet. I I don't know. We'll see. You know. Yeah, but I, I do love playing those games. They're just fun, you know. It's so much fun to play. So, many, so, so fun to just play it over and over and over. I don't know why. It's just, it's just me with Resident Evil with old school ones, you know. And, um, 
and even the HD one. I think I'm, I'm thinking about doing that one over as well on the other modes because there is an invisible enemy mode as well. I wanted to play on that one when I did my um, let's play of that that game back in um, August of last year. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough, <laughs> this let's play of Mizuna Falls, and like, comment, all that great stuff. I'll definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.